Today, September 16, 2020, St. Lucia joins the rest of the world to celebrate the 45th anniversary of the Vienna Convention for the Protection of the Ozone Layer. This year, the theme Ozone for Life, 45 Years of Ozone Layer Protection, recognizes the, this milestone and highlights the Vienna Convention's role in bringing together the science and the policy issues. This was a pivotal step in alerting the world of the growing ozone hole that had been detected and the need for global action on an unprecedented scale. St. Lucia joined the global effort to protect the ozone layer in 1993 when we acceded to the Montreal Protocol on substances that deplete the ozone layer. This agreement, which has received support from 197 countries of the world, came into being in response to the revelation that chlorofluorocarbon, CFCs, and other ozone depleting substances used in aerosol, cooling and refrigeration system, and many other items were causing damage to the ozone layer, allowing dangerous ultraviolet radiation, UV, to flood through. Increased exposure to UV radiation can lead to skin cancers and eye cataract in humans and can cause damage to plants and marine life. Since joining the Montreal Protocol, some of our key achievements thus far include under the terminal phase-out management plan, St. Lucia successfully eliminated the import and use of CFC in 2008, two years ahead of the 2010 phase-out date for developing countries. We have significantly reduced our consumption of a second major group of ODS called hydrochlorofluorocarbon, HCFC, by 40% compared to 2010 level through the implementation of a license and quota system to control HCFC imports. We are committed to completely phasing out this group of substance by 2030. The government instituted a ban on assembled equipment comprising ozone depleting substances as at 1st January 2020, making it illegal to import such equipment. Under St. Lucia ODS phasing out program, over 120 refrigeration and air conditioning technicians have been trained in good refrigeration and management practice, including the recovery and recycling of refrigerants. We continue to ensure capacity building for our support agencies. And in this regard, custom officers have been trained in the application of the ODS licensing and quota system, as well as identification and testing of refrigerants. We can all agree this year has been a challenging one. As the world contemplates solutions to the COVID-19 crisis, the Vienna Convention and its Montreal Protocol stands as shining example on how global crises can be resolved through international cooperation. Through the unwavering commitment of all nations of the world, the Montreal Protocol has eliminated about 98% of the ozone depleting substances and avoid about 2 million cases of skin cancer annually. This year, we will embark on another journey to reduce the importation and the use of another group of powerful greenhouse gases called hydrofluorocarbon or HFCs by acceding to the Kigali Amendment to the Montreal Protocol, which was adopted in 2016. This new amendment will contribute to the ongoing efforts to reducing global warming and climate change. As a small nation, we are proud to have contributed to the success of the Montreal Protocol, and we will continue to work towards securing a healthy environment for all. The theme, Ozone for Life, reminds us that we all need a healthy ozone layer to protect us and our environment, and we need to preserve it for the future generation to come. I thank you.